Well, I just wanted to thank you for coming and being here today. And um, I really want to say that, you know, when I arrived here seven years ago, one of the first things I was told is that this whole question of clerical sexual abuse had been taken care of. I didn't have to worry about it. And uh, unfortunately, I believe that. And so my biggest apology today, when I, and I did this last week at two other parishes, um, is to say that I overlooked this. I should have investigated it a lot more than I did. When the story started to break in, um, at the end of September, I was as surprised as anyone else. But my team and I, we have uh, dedicated ourselves to four main goals. The first is to provide safe environments for everyone in the church, but especially for minors and vulnerable adults. Secondly, to make sure that we reach out and try to help those who have been victimized in their healing process. Thirdly is to, as I, I'm doing, try to, trying to do here today, to restore confidence to our people who have lost confidence in us. And fourthly, to hold up the 97% of our priests who are honest, noble, hardworking, selfless individuals. And we've done that by three particular actions. First is the a uh, task force that was put together independently of myself, and I have not interfered with any of their work and will not, and that's to get the facts. What went wrong? We had policies and practices in place. Obviously, they weren't followed uniformly. I want to know what the facts are. I think you want to know what the facts are, and our people want to know what the facts are. Secondly, we decided that we have to know for sure. I have to stand before the community and say, in all honesty, that I can tell people there is no one in the ministry that's going to be a danger to their child. And the only way I can do that is by hiring an outside firm to go through our files and to make sure that that's true. And thirdly, what was the third thing that we did? Oh, we did the disclosure. How can I forget that? We did the disclosure last um, uh, week because that group of 33, that list of 33, had almost become a myth. You know, everybody was talking about the 33. And as we said, only one of those individuals had been taken out of ministry long before 2002. And the one was the unfortunate one with Curtis Waymire, whom when I made him pastor, I had no idea, no idea that he would have been a harm to children. So I thank you for your coverage. I hope you'll continue to be uh, helpful to us. Uh, this is an important thing that we get right. And uh, we hope that you know, uh, working with our communications department that you will get the truth and that we'll get the story straight. But I've got to go now because I need to get back to Mass, back to church.